You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion. Delivered by conflicting media reports, we connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day. We're a very focused show. We only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I feel would benefit you. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you, and you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are operators standing by. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. And yes, of course... We are celebrating today. We celebrate every day on Ron Siegel Radio. So do we want to just celebrate today or do we want to get into a little history lesson? I I don't know. Which way should we we? we? we go into history or celebrations? Okay, let's talk about National Chicken Wing Day. Now, chicken wings, okay, we know it's a little appetizer, also known as buffalo wings, hot wings, just wings. Each of us eats about 290 per year. Huh. While a chicken wing has two, chicken has two wings per bird, it produces four of these tasty little morsels. That's because when we dissect the wing, we break it down into the wingette and the drumette. Just a tip. I like the drumettes. Uh, the wingette and drumette get seasoned and fried into the deliciousness we devour at tailgate parties, trivia nights, when we're not thinking too clearly. Uh, dipping in blue cheese. I'm not a big fan of the real spicy ones. I like the versions that are are maybe a little bit uh, uh, more of the barbecue sauce type. Uh, are you a, are you into the 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 spicy version? Or are you into the barbecue sauce version? Let me know. Uh, what do you think? Um, let's see. Uh, Joe Ingram's playing the piano. Well, Joe, you got to get over here to play the piano, man. That's uh, that's the way to do it, buddy. Uh, let's take a look. I think that uh, Danielle DiMartino today actually sent out a message talking about the chicken wings and some of their origin. And uh, 1964 is when they date back to Anchor Bar Restaurant in Buffalo, New York. Late that evening, a group of Dominic's friends piled in, ravenous with hunger. Dominic asked his mother, Teresa, to prepare something for his friends, reaching for a part of the chicken usually reserved for soup stocks, she deep fried and flavored them with a secret sauce. The lowly wing was an instant hit, drawing newcomers from near and far. Have you ever been to the Anchor Bar in Buffalo for these wings? I will admit I have not. No, 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 no. Joe, you don't have, Joe, Joe, you only like one thing spicy, and we're not going to go there. This is a family show. Okay, so, you know, the spicy ones, uh, some people like the, the – now. If you want a real spicy wing, and if you're in Southern California, there's a few of these locations, but you know I, I don't get into the real spicy ones. The Crack Shack. There's one in Costa Mesa. Uh, Josh, have you been to the Crack Shack out there in Vegas? Yeah, they, they, have, the, that, they have a fire version that, I, from what I understand, will light you up. I actually went to the one in Vegas when I was there last time. Uh, but again, I just like the flavorful stuff and that spicy one isn't for me let's take a look and see what else uh, what else are we celebrating today national lasagna day now that's one i can get behind i i i am a fan of italian food lasagna i enjoy lasagna big time that's one of my favorites of all time cortinas they make about the best lasagna you're gonna get cortinas uh it's an italian deli uh cortinas yeah i like that one Let's see what the markets are. Do we want to see what the markets are doing today? Let's take a look and see what the markets are doing today. 
Uh, if I can get my screen to come back alive, there they are. So, well, I wonder why we're missing the key part. Dow Jones Industrial Average right now is up 19 and a half. I'm sorry, the Dow Jones is up 21. The S&P 500 is up 19 and a half. NASDAQ is up 86. Oil is down $1.42 a barrel. Okay, we're watching that. Was that, was that translating into gasoline? Well, we're down a tenth of a cent in California. Wow. You know, uh, I guess we should have. Yippee! Yeah, tenth of a penny. 465.4 is our gas price. A year ago, we were at three, I'm sorry, 497 in California. 350 national average, 374 a year ago. So we're coming down a little bit. Could it be that they're just trying to fix some of these numbers for the election? Ah, we'll see what's happening there. But some of the numbers they may not be able to fix, those are numbers that are coming out in the economics world. They're not looking good. Uh, <laughs> okay, Joe, now I found the first person that I know that is on the Kamala bandwagon. The economy is getting better. Yeah, she wants a universal income for all. Does that mean universal income tax hikes for all as well? Uh, that's it. You know, you, you think about some of the things that she's proposed. I hope the media gives her an opportunity to chant, to, 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 to talk. Obviously, I cannot speak this morning. Because the more we learn about her, or the more the people learn about her, do you think they want to bring California to the rest of the country? San Francisco, they're doing really well, right? Their budget is in shambles. Their streets are covered with homeless people and drug addicts. They shoot people there. And that's Kamala's where she got her, well, sort of where she got her start again. We've got a family show, so we're not going to talk about where she got her start. Uh, let's see. The uh, Then she went to Sacramento. Talks about being a prosecutor. Who did she prosecute? Well, she, she cut down the sentencing. She let people go that shouldn't have been let go. So now we get, what is it, Prop 47? That's her big deal that lets criminals out to go out and criminalize again. What do criminals do? They create crime. So, or they, 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 well, you know, they, they commit crime. So we get to watch Kamala taking uh, California to the rest of the, you know, state of California bankrupt. Uh, maybe she can do that for the United States as well. But the, but the mainstream media, they won't let you see any of this stuff. They're not going to share that information. They're not going to show, but, if they will publicize her and get her giving speeches, the more speeches they'll cover, the better it'll be for the United States because, you know, she just can't help herself. It's amazing listening to her every once in a while when I absolutely have to. Uh, unless I get off, this, get off the soapbox. So we've got earnings coming out this week. We're going to have a big deal on earnings. Microsoft, who's using AI? I know Joe Ingram is using AI. Oh, if jo Josh, did I forget our quote of the day? I guess we better get the quote of the day before we come go uh, go away right now. So, who is the most famous cat to like lasagna? The most famous cat to like lasagna? No googling it or no putting it into Chat GPT. I want to see if anybody knows. Put it in the chat. Put it in the comments. Uh, if you're listening to us live on ABC News and Talk, any of the affiliated stations, say it to the radio. Yell it at the radio. We will hear you. So who is the most famous cat to like? Oh, Joe Ingram's right on top of it. But he's probably got his, uh, his uh, AI, his bot working right now. Garfield. Yes, it is. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, we're going to got a great show for you. Our home price is going to come down. How cash-only spending affects your FICO score. Home value, equity, and debt. We'll talk about all that and more. Reach me anytime off air. Number 800-306-1990. 800 or com, Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio. Your home and mortgage. Connection. Confused about the home buying process? Or curious how much you really know about buying a home? 
Take the first Home IQ quiz to test your understanding of buying a home. Created by the nonprofit First Home IQ, this five minute quiz will give you a score what you missed, and why. Take the quiz in five minutes at rsrlinks.com FHIQ and find out what you need to know about buying your first home. That's rsrlinks.com FHIQ. Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners over the age of 62 are taking back financial control after retirement with reverse mortgages, and the Siegel Lending Team is here to help you use it to your advantage. Call Ron Siegel with Geneva Financial to receive your free information booklet with no obligation. The booklet answers all your questions, and the best part is you still own your home. Call Ron Siegel at 1-800-306-1990 or visit ronsiegelradio.com. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you could retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct. All without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes. RSRNoDebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to RSRNoDebt.com. RSRNoDebt.com. Are you paying rent because you cannot afford to live in your dream home? Are you paying rent because you don't believe you have the down payment funds to purchase your own home? At Siegel Lending Team at RonIsMyLender.com has up to $25,000 to help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. Contact the Siegel Lending Team today at RonIsMyLender.com. Again, RonIsMyLender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037. RonIsMyLender.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. They don't tell us points paid, points received, or APR. They tell us the number you need to put in your mortgage calculator to find out exactly what your principal and interest payment will be. And if you don't have a mortgage calculator, no stress there either. You can get one. Ron is my lender.com. Ron is my lender.com. What did rates do on Friday? Well, it looks like a lot of red arrows. And this is one of the times that we like red arrows. Conventional loans, 30-year fixed, down 6.751. 
Jumbo, 30-year fix, down 7.071. FHA loans, down 6.567. The VA loan, best loan on the market for our veterans with with no down payment, 6.263. USDA loan, that was the only one that was up on all of them, 6.2. Five seven five. That was up quite. Uh, that was up a little bit. Yeah, th- up uh, three and a half basis points. Now remember, even though I tell you the VA loan is the, the is the best loan for the veterans with no money down, everybody should be looking at the home select, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. Don't know if it's right for everybody, but it is worth exploring if you want information or our, our feelings on what's going on in the mortgage market. Every day, as early as the data allows, we put out a report rsrmarketminute.com rsrmarketminute.com you can get a hold of that report let's see what's going on in the markets today as we speak right now we're looking at the dow jones industrial average if i can see my screen here is uh, up 22.35 we'll look at the 10-year treasury down two basis points basically flat that is the yield the interest rate the bond, the mortgage bond, that's up three basis points, 101.05. And everything is just kind of quiet today, other than Ron Siegel Radio. So here's why is because we've got the Fed starting their two-day meeting. That's coming up tomorrow. They start that meeting tomorrow. Wednesday, about 11 o'clock our time, that will give their uh, decision on what they're doing with rates going to probably stay flat. Nothing's going to really change at all on the rates. At 11.30 our time, the fireworks starts. That's when Jerome Powell will have a press conference. And that's generally when we start seeing some of what the, the Fed is thinking about the future. Now, we already know that the economy is slowing down. The question mark will be how far are they going to wait for, how bad are they going to wait for things to get before they take action? Just throw that out there for you. So we're watching all of that. We're going to have a lot this week, though. Case Shiller Home Price Index, FHA Home Price Index. And the Job Openings and Labor Transition Report comes out on Tuesday. The ADP Employment Report, pending home sales in the Fed meeting, are, are going to uh, come out on Wednesday. So ADP Report, you know, even though they've got some of the best data out there, it doesn't get any, any, uh, any attention. Pending home sales worth will Thursday, the initial jobless claims come out and the big daddy of them all for this week will be the BLS jobs report that comes out on, on Friday. Now this, no, this report gets the most publicity and is the most inaccurate report we have. I have no idea why, why they, they just love this report, but it could be because of some of the comments from uh, one of the comments that I heard from the late Essie Adibi. And I asked him one time about some of the economic numbers and why they use some of them that are so meaningless. And he said to me, Ron, the issue is, is that they're consistent. So we continue to use the same numbers over and over again. That particular issue we were talking about that day happened to meet the mean home, the home sales prices, but the mean price. It doesn't mean anything. It only talks about the mix of homes being sold, but because they track it, they track it. So the BLS report, the reason that they share it is because they track it month over month over month. We find out over the next couple of months how inaccurate it was, but the report and the headline are what drives things. So it's going to be a rocky road on Friday. Who knows how inaccurate the report will be that they share with us, but let's talk a little bit about it. So first off, let's talk about the Fed. They kick off their two-day meeting with their statement, Jerome Powell press conference on Wednesday, starting, again, I told you 11 o'clock for their their statement. 11.30 is the meeting. We're not expecting a rate cut until September 18th. That's when we really think about it. So there is, when the Fed goes before their meetings, they all go into this quiet period. So they're not allowed to make any public comments. So how do they get around it? Every Fed chair has what they call a mole. Right now, the Fed mole is Nick Timoros, who writes for the Wall Street Journal. Throughout history, the Fed has used figures like this to prep the markets for what they're going to do at the next meeting to eliminate big surprises in the market. They don't want the surprises. Just last night, Timoros wrote an article, a Fed rate cut is finally within view. 
Within the article, Tim Rose explains that a July cut would be too soon. So we know they're not going to cut on Friday, on, on, on Wednesday. But the Fed will likely prep the markets for a September 18th rate cut for three main reasons. Number one, inflation over the last quarter has shown progress and has given the Fed the confidence they need that inflation is going to get to their 2% target. Number two, the labor market is starting to cool with the unemployment rate rising each of the last three months, now at a 4.1%. Number three, what keeps Powell up at night is waiting too long to cut rates and causing unnecessary economic weakness and potential recession. Bottom line, we expect the Fed to leave all the rates the same. They're going to have a dovish tone, acknowledging the progress on inflation, cooler labor market, and a sign of a slowing economy. So let's look at a preview of what the jobs report will say. The market is expecting ADP and BLS reports to show 149,000 175,000 jobs created respectively, for July, with the unemployment rate to remain at 4.1%. The jobs report is always a wild card, as we have gone over many times, as they have had an issue of overstating job growth and then revising it lower in the following two months for an average negative 50,000 revision each month this year. If we see really high headline job creation figure, that could derail the bond market optimism. On the other hand, if we see the number of jobs created coming around estimates, or disappoint, and the unemployment rate unexpectedly rises, it will likely be a full-on party in the bond market. The unemployment rate has risen each of the last three reports to 4.1%, the highest level in almost three years. What is expected to remain at 4.1? If the unemployment rate were to rise to 4.2, it would surprise the majority of Fed members. At the last meeting, the summary of economic projections showed that two Fed members didn't see unemployment rate getting above 3.8 to 3.9, while 14 didn't see it getting above 4 to 4.1, with the median 4. With it currently at 4.1, many are likely already surprised, but a rise to 4.2 would certainly raise the eyebrows of 16 of the 19 Fed members and elicit action, potentially even a 50 basis point cut in September. I would not be surprised at all to see it go up to that 4.2. Why? Because so many people are broke. See, what happens is, unfortunately, the way these, the, the, the unemployment number comes, it comes out of the household survey, which is a little different than the BLS report. I'm not going to get into that today. But what, what actually happens is if somebody says they're not out looking for work, they're no longer unemployed. Now, if they can't make their mortgage payment, if they can't make their car payment, if they can't make their credit card payments, they can't make their, their buy now, pay later payments, what do they start doing? Going out and looking for work. Add that to the people that are getting laid off, and you get more people coming back into the workforce, but not getting a lot of jobs. That's what's happened the last couple months, is we've seen two and 300,000 people added to the unemployment rolls, and even though we haven't seen that many created, that's what causes the unemployment number to increase because there's more people out there. Would not surprise me to see that go up again just because of some of the people that might be starting to look for work now. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. And I do like to share with you, I, I, I do this a, a lot because I've talked to you quite a bit about the Home Select product at Geneva Financial. And again, you can get the information on that, rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com. But here's a great story, and I want to share this one with you because you may know somebody that's in this situation. So this is a young couple that bought their first home 2021. And yes, they just got into the game however they could. They had mortgage insurance and they had a great interest rate. They, they worked with our team and we got everything set up for them. And I got a message from them over the weekend. Hey, you know something? Do you think that home select product would be good for my wife and I? And I said, I don't know, but let's look. Send me your current mortgage statement. Tell me what your current household income is, and let's run it through the simulator. So here's what we got. Their minimum payment is going to, and it's a, a 400, I think it was a three, it was a 330 or $340,000 house that's appreciated up to about 415 right now. 
So think about that. 2021, let's do my math here, take off my shoes. It's about two and a half years that they've been in the property, and the property is appreciated by about $60,000, maybe $70,000. But let's continue with looking at what the, the numbers came out or the simulation came out. Payment drops to $1,014.90 from $1,610. And again, the way the home select works is if there's availability on their line, if they have a problem, they don't even have to worry about making a payment. They don't have to worry about it at all. Effective APR drops to 2.353. And we used an adjustable, an adjusted rate because what we did is we took the payment and added the mortgage insurance, calculated what that interest rate would come out to if it was all called interest. And that comes out to 4.38 because I think they were at 3.625 plus, again, plus the mortgage insurance. So their, their effective APR drops to 2.353. Yes, that's 30 years, but it is adjustable from 4.38. Your loan is paid off in 10.4 years instead of the current 27. If you take that same amount of money, that 1610, and were to put it into a financial advisor, who could get 7.5% rate of return? I don't guarantee that. But I do know there's some instruments out there. Their net worth will increase by $836,000 by making this change over time. Do you understand how that the wealth comes out on things like that? That's the way some of these numbers come out and work. And we like to share that with you because it just helps you understand that the Home Select is a great product for a lot of people. you got to take make the first step rsrhomeselect.com, rsrhomeselect.com. You're listening to Ron Segal Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, our home price is going to come down, how cash-only spending affects your FICO scores, home value, equity, and debt, all that and more. Reach me anytime. Off air number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube, Ron Siegel the numero 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio, your home and mortgage connection. Confused about the home buying process or curious how much you really know about buying a home? Take the first Home IQ quiz to test your understanding of buying a home. Created by the nonprofit First Home IQ, this five minute quiz will give you a score what you missed and why. Take the quiz in five minutes at rsrlinks.com slash FHIQ and find out what you need to know about buying your first home. That's rsrlinks.com slash FHIQ. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you like many of your neighbors trying to figure out how to pay off your debts so you can retire someday? Build bigger savings. Invest in opportunities. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Debt will destroy 50% of Americans from being able to retire earlier and with more. What if you could have a guaranteed program that could show you how to eliminate all of your debt in 10 years or less, all without having to spend more each month than you spend right now? Yes, that's correct all without spending more from your checkbook each month than you are today. Get your free analysis today to see if you qualify. Visit rsrnodebt.com. Log on today for your free analysis, rsrnodebt.com. No purchase necessary. The free analysis takes only two minutes, rsrnodebt.com. Ron Siegel Radio is your home and mortgage connection. Go to rsrnodebt.com rsrnodebt.com 
Do you know a homeowner experiencing divorce? Do you know a real estate reference and the divorce decree could cost tens of thousands of dollars? A certified divorce mortgage planning and real estate report could save you thousands of dollars, and it's free from your local certified divorce lending professional. Reach out to Ron today. Ronismylender.com. Again, Ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsiegelradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. We're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990. The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com. rsrmoney.com. Our home prices going to come down. Today's headlines and news stories about home prices are confusing and make it tough to know what's really happening. Some say home prices are heading for a correction. But what do the facts say? Well, it helps start by looking at what a correction means. Here's what Danielle Hale, chief economist at Realtor.com, says, quote, in stock market terms, a correction is generally referred to as 10 to 20% drop in prices. We don't have the same established definitions in the housing market, unquote. In the context of today's housing market, it doesn't mean home prices are going to dramatically fall. It only means prices, which have been increasing rapidly over the last couple of years, are normalizing a bit. In other words, they're not growing at, the, at a, they are now growing at a slower pace. Prices vary a lot by local market, but rest assured, a big drop-off is not what's happening at the national level. Real estate market is normalizing and tw- from 2020 to 2022, home prices skyrocketed. That rapid increase was due to a high demand, low interest rates, and shortages homes for sale. But that kind of aggressive growth couldn't continue forever. Today, price growth has started to slow down, which is a sign the market is beginning to normalize. The most recent data from Case Shiller shows that after being basically flat for a couple of months, last year prices are going up at a national level, not just as quickly as not just not as quickly as before. If you're watching us on RonSingerRadio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you are seeing a chart. Home prices moderating, year-over-year change in home prices. The big takeaway, so far this year, there's been a much healthier pace of price growth compared to the pandemic. Of course, that's what's happening now, but you may be wondering what's next for prices. Marco Santarelli, the founder of Norda Real Estate Investments, says, quote, expert forecasts lean toward a moderation in home price growth over the next five years. This translates to a slower and more sustainable pace of appreciation compared to the breakneck speed witnessed in recent years, rather than a free fall in prices, unquote. It's all about supply and demand. Increasing inventory plus limited buyer demand due to relatively high mortgage rates will continue to ease some of the upward pressure on prices. What this means for you, if you think about buying a home, showing price growth is welcome news. I'm sorry, slowing Price growth is welcome news. Skyrocketing home prices during the pandemic left many would-be home buyers feeling priced out. 
While it's still a good thing to know the value of home of the home you buy will likely continue to go up once you own it. Slowing price gains are making things feel more manageable. Odetta Cushy, deputy chief economist at First American, says, "Quote: While housing affordability is low for potential first-time home buyers, slowing price appreciation and lower mortgage rates could help. So the dream of home ownership isn't boarded up just yet." Unquote. Bottom line, at the national level, home prices are not going down, and most experts forecast they'll continue growing moderately moving forward, but prices vary a lot by local market. That's where a trusted real estate agent comes into play. If you have any questions, give me a call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. If you want to know exactly what's going on in the real estate market in your zip code, rsrmarketreport.com, rsrmarketreport.com. Our friends over at Alto's Research track every single home for sale in the United States every week. And they put out this report, and it gives you all kinds of great information. If you go to RSR market, rsrlinks.com slash market report, you can get the free report, put in your zip code. It'll tell you what's going on with prices in your area. It'll tell you what's going on with availability in your area. How many days on market are the homes on there? And is that going up or going down? How many homes have had to have a price reduction before they get sold? All of that data is right there, and it gives you some some commentary, and it's updated every week. RSRlinks.com forward slash market report. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by RSRmoney.com, RSRmoney.com. So should we look at it and see about – let's take a look and see about home values, equity, and debt. and I don't know if I, Josh, did I give you the chart on this one? I think we have a chart for home value, equity, and debt so you can actually see. Of course, he's got it ready for us. So if you take a look at that chart, it gives you some uh, background information. So let's explore the fascinating dynamics of home value, equity, and debt over the past two decades. Let's start with a broad view from Q1 2000 to Q1 2024. We've witnessed a significant upward trend in real estate values. The total real estate value peaked at approximately $45.8 trillion in the first quarter 2024. That's a staggering number reflecting the robust nature of the housing market. Now, if we rewind a bit, the 2008 financial crisis had a notable impact causing a dip in real estate values. However, the market showed incredible resilience with a steady recovery and rapid growth post-2012. This recovery recovery trajectory highlights the strength and adaptability of the real estate market. Shifting our focus to home mortgage liabilities, they've remained relatively stable compared to the surging real estate values. As of the first quarter of 2024, home mortgage liabilities reached about $13.1 trillion, while there were slight fluctuations around the 2008 crisis. The overall growth has been gradual and steady. This stability is crucial for a healthy financial ecosystem. One of the most encouraging trends we've seen in the consistent increase in owner's equity. By the first quarter of 2024, owner's equity rose to around $32.8 trillion. $32.8 trillion. This growth reflects the increase in the portion of home value owned by homeowners after accounting for mortgage liabilities. It's a clear sign that more people are building wealth through home ownership. We like that. So what does all this data tell us? The widening gap between real estate value and home mortgage liability indicates increased equity for homeowners. The market's recovery post-2008 shows its resilience and capacity for strong growth. And the steady growth in mortgage liabilities, coupled with rising real estate values, paints a picture of a robust and stable real estate market. If you're a homeowner, potential homeowner, or investor, these trends are important They highlight the potential for equity growth and the stability of the market, even in the face of economic challenges. This is why we've been talking to you a lot recently about the issues of getting all of your other debts in order. If you're one of those people that has a boatload of equity, but you've got a lot of credit card debt or auto debt or student loan uh, private debt, Have you done an analysis to find out what your blended household interest rate is? 
Most people don't understand the blended household interest rate. What that really is, is looking at what your total household debt service is. You look at all your fixed bills every month and put in the interest rate and you weigh it. So hopefully your mortgage is your biggest debt. We hope you don't have anything that's bigger than that. But you put the mortgage in there and whatever interest rate that is and your cars, whatever interest rates those are. And credit cards, yeah, we know those are probably right around 23% or more. Put all of that in there and let's find out exactly what your blended household interest rate is. Stop fooling yourself. Then you go and you look at the rsr2step.com, rsr2step.com. We look at that and we do a debt consolidation loan because it doesn't matter if you have a 3% interest rate and your household debt is running at 7 or 8 or 9% when you average everything together because the money still comes out of your same bank account. And if we can take a 9% blended rate and bring that down to 8 or 7 and save you four or $500 a month, well, what do you do with that four or $500 a month that you save? We're not looking for you to start spending that again. We apply that to your mortgage rate to bring the balance down and get that, that working for you. Then the second step to that is taking a look down the road when we see interest rates are, are expected to drop. See, when we do the first step of the two-step, we really don't care what interest rates are as long as you're saving money on your, on your expenses. And most importantly, more than just saving money on your expenses, we want to have the dollars. That's what we're looking to save is save dollars. More, more, more important than the interest rate is the dollars going out of your bank account. You can't live off of an interest rate. You can live off of dollars. Now, we don't want you to go and run up your credit cards balances again because what our second step is, our second step of our plan is for you to go and, and, and refinance when interest rates come down, if they do as they're projected, no guarantees. But if they come down, we're going to restructure that again and save you even more money. Now, when you do a, a debt consolidation loan, that's going to have a higher interest rate. Cash out refinances always carry a little bit of a higher rate. But again, we're more concerned with our long-term plan. How does it fit in? Now, when we do that, the second step, then we're looking and saying, okay, how, how inexpensive can we get this done? What makes the most sense? RSR Home Select, maybe or going with a traditional conventional loan, your, if you follow the program, wait six months, your credit score should increase, your debt, your debt load is going to decrease, you're going to be in much better shape. That's why we want to make sure you're looking. rsr2step.com, rsr2step.com, just strictly financial planning. That's the way it works. You're, again, you're listening to Ron Singer Radio. Discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, how cash-only spending affects your FICO score and more. Reach me anytime off air. Number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or Radio.com. Facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, Ron Siegel 1 on YouTube. Ron Siegel, the number one on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel. Are you a renter and tired of making monthly payments? Paying off someone else's mortgage? Hey, it's Ron Siegel here to help you stop renting and start owning your dream home with amazing low interest rates. And you could potentially qualify for a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket. So stop renting. Start owning with Ron Siegel. Learn more at ronsegalradio.com and start owning today. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Hey friends, do you dream of mortgage-free home ownership? Are you aware that even if you own your home free and clear, it could still be costing you thousands per year? The Siegel Lending Team can help you generate tax-free income, accumulate family wealth, and maintain ownership of your home. By simply emailing your most recent mortgage statement, you'll receive a no-obligation real estate plan. Learn more by calling 1-800-306-1990 or email me your recent mortgage statement to P-E-A-R at ronsegalradio.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. Confused about the home buying process? Or curious how much you really know about buying a home? Take the first Home IQ quiz to test your understanding of buying a home. Created by the nonprofit First Home IQ, 
This five-minute quiz will give you a score, what you missed, and why. Take the quiz in five minutes at rsrlinks.com FHIQ and find out what you need to know about buying your first home. That's rsrlinks.com FHIQ. Are you tired of paying rent? Are you tired of paying someone else's mortgage? Do you know qualified folks can potentially purchase a $500,000 home for less than $5,000 out of pocket? Ron Siegel can help qualified people purchase their own home at amazing interest rates. If you're tired of paying someone else's mortgage, reach out to Ron today at ronismylender.com. That's ronismylender.com. Licensed under NMLS 217037, Equal Housing Lender. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. In every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message, and I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. 800-306-1990. Uh, your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by rsrdebtfree.com. rsrdebtfree.com. How cash-only spending affects your FICO scores as interest rates rise and more businesses charge a fee for using credit cards. More people are opting to tuck their credit cards away and embrace a cash-only lifestyle. Returning to cash does have some appeal. Many people find that using cash makes it easier to stick to a budget and steer clear of debt. Relying on cash can also save money since it eliminates credit card interest and allows you to avoid credit card convenience fees. However, abandoning credit cards means trading the perks that come with using a credit card. For instance, you miss the opportunity to earn rewards and forego protections like extended warranty coverage and purchase protection. Opting out of credit card credit can impact your FICO scores and progress toward reaching your financial goals. Here are two keys that this could impact your FICO score. You may not have a FICO score since cash payments aren't included in your credit report, which holds the information used to calculate your FICO score. Cash-only spending doesn't impact your score. Your credit report needs to at least to at least one account that's been open and active in the past six months to generate a FICO score for you. It's possible to experience a loss of scoreability if your credit file becomes stale, meaning your accounts aren't updated for several months. Younger consumers in particular may be impacted by cash-only spending. In a recent FICO survey, 29% of Gen Z answered that they don't have a credit score or don't know if they have one, compared to just 8% of boomers. Without a scorable credit history, it's challenging to access credit-based products and services since businesses often rely on credit information to approve applications and set pricing. This means you could face roadblocks when you're buying a house or car, renting an apartment, or even purchasing a cell phone on an installment plan. Know that having no FICO score at all is different than having bad credit, which is the result of mishandling credit accounts. Likewise, you don't have a zero FICO score since scores range from 300 to 850. You simply won't have a score at all. Your FICO score may not be high enough to get approved, even if you have only one or two accounts listed on your credit report, like a student loan or being an authorized user. Your FICO score might not meet the minimum requirements set by certain lenders. Your FICO score takes into account the types of credit you have, your mix of credit, and it contributes to 10% of your score. Showing that you can manage different types of credit helps increase your FICO score. This means both having credit and installment loans with a history of on-time payments. Sticking to cash sticking to cash can make you a responsible spender, but that doesn't necessarily show that you're a responsible borrower. Because so many life choices involve credit history, finding a responsible balance between cash and credit is important to responsible building credit. That is the Your Credit Matters segment brought to you by rsrdebtfree.com, rsrdebtfree.com. Now, just remember, here's the key to this one. Go and look at rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com. We show you in there 
how you can still be that cash borrower or cash buyer, but use credit cards responsibly. It's highly likely that you're paying with your cell phone bill, your internet bill, maybe your cable TV bill, all in some manner other than cash. I know you could be doing it with a debt, a debt payment, you know, a payment plan from your bank. But here's the idea. Get a separate credit card for every one of those stable utilities that you have. So you're, if you, and, and, and that don't charge you extra. I, I should qualify that. As long as they don't charge you extra. So your cable bill, your direct TV, if you have something like that, your streaming bill, um, your cell phone bill, and uh, Netflix, some, whatever you have along those lines. Put each of them on a separate credit card. Now you want to get the balances, or the, the limits as high as you can. That helps your credit scores. But, you know, your Netflix bill, I, th- I don't know, what is Netflix, about $15 a month, I think, something like that. So you pay it on your credit card, but you set up an auto pay from your checking account to automatically go and pay that bill. When you're doing that, you're going to be far better off because now you're actually using that, that card. It stays as an active card. And if you pay it right after you charge on it, it shows as active but your utilization is still very, very good. So we're kind of looking in that range. That's what we're looking to try and benefit you. And you're doing that with three or four cards, so that helps. Now, I know there is another TV host out there in Tennessee that's real big on doing everything with cash. And I guess if you're a multimillionaire, you can do that. But I'm just throwing it out there to you that, in my opinion, you got to have a mix. And RSRCC payment, we show you how to maximize your FICO score, how to maximize your payment, the the best way of paying your credit cards, to maximize your FICO score. I mean, we just had another call late last week. I think it was Friday. We had somebody call us, and they were having trouble getting a home loan because they didn't have a FICO score. We had to consult with them and tell them some of the tools that are out there for dealing with that. So just throw that out there for you. RSRCCpayment.com is a good tool for you. I love looking over at some of the uh, other media outlets and kind of talking to you about what they're talking about here and see if it's good for you, if it's bad for you. Is it just clickbait or is it something legit? So I went and looked this morning, Yahoo Finance. When will house prices drop? That's their headline. Well, of course, you know, if you're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, what would cause housing prices to drop? Well, if there's an an excess of supply, what's going to cause the supply to go up? Well, people can't make their mortgage payment and they don't have enough equity to sell. Well, here's the issue. And I look at this headline and I just say, you know, if you're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, you know housing prices, in my opinion, are not going to drop. Why? Well, if interest rates drop, they become the rates become more affordable. Every 1% of interest rate drop is another 5 million people who will qualify for a new home loan. 5 million people qualifying for a new home loan for every one drop, one point drop in rates. So, hmm, let's see, you got more demand and the builders aren't building a huge amount more. And we've got something going on right now that's called rate lock. What is rate lock? Well, these are folks that are responsible individuals. They don't have a lot of debt, so they're not looking to do debt consolidation loans. But they've got a 2.5% or 3% or 3.5% mortgage. And they're saying, you know something? I'm not going to move because I don't want to give up that mortgage to move. They're probably the same ones that have not looked at the Home Select product, rsrhomeselect.com, to realize they could be paying off their property significantly quicker by doing it with a uh, a different type of a loan. But I digress. So we're looking at more people coming to market wanting to buy houses. We're getting rid of the rate lock because as rates come down, people start saying, well, you know something? It's not such a big deal going from four to five if I can go and live by my grandkids or if I can go out and live in the desert and not have to fight with city life, whatever they want, their goals are. So they get remove that rate lock. So yeah, some houses will come on the market, but you've got an extra 5 million people that are 
uh, avail uh, qualified to buy, and you've got all this pent up demand. And we talk on Ron Segal Radio about the six Ds. Those continue forever. What are the six Ds? Well, it's diplomas, diamonds, and diapers. It's death, default, and divorce. Those, when those things happen, the interest rate is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. People are still going to go out and buy. So those folks are still out there in the marketplace. We've added a bunch of people who are now can qualify. Do you think prices are going to drop? Economics 101, my friends, Economics 101 says that if you don't have an excess of demand, I mean, if you don't have an excess of supply, well, the price is not going to drop. So be aware of that. And as always, we ask, set that first radio preset button to come back here and join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Josh and Sean for engineering us today. And, of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Segal Radio. Oh,